So I'm currently balls deep in wedding planning. I just got engaged a few months ago. And yes, my dog was the videographer of the engagement. So now we're trying to decide which wedding traditions we want to include in our ceremony. So I decided to do a little research. And now um, I'm just gonna go uh, let them know what I learned. Hey Mike. Yeah. Do you know the origin of bridesmaids? I do not. It turns out, bridesmaids were originally told to dress similarly to the bride in order to confuse exes or evil spirits. Wow, really taking a bullet for your best friend there. So in the Roman Empire, bridesmaids would accompany a bride if she had to travel to another town or village where the groom lived. And this larger party was thought to keep the bride safe from attacks by robbers or kidnappers. If bridesmaids are just basically decoys for evil spirits or kidnappers, then what are groomsmen? What do you think the best man's about? Best man was probably like like your coolest, biggest, strongest friend. Do you know the origin of the best man already? I've just like been a best man like multiple times. That's right. Like okay. Biggest, the best man actually friend. is the biggest and strongest friend. In some cultures, men would kidnap or steal their bride. You were the best man if you were the strongest and you were the most skilled in fighting. You were supposed to help the groom combat anyone who opposed the bride being kidnapped. The best man actually stands next to the groom during the ceremony to make sure that the bride doesn't run away. Because if the bride tries to run away, that best man, he's going to grab her. She can't run. What a swell guy. Do you know the origin of white wedding dresses? I thought it was some kind of symbol of purity. The wedding dress was actually meant just to be ostentatious and to show off wealth. In the 18th and 19th century, washing was done painstakingly by hand. So to have an immaculate white dress, that was only for the very wealthy. Red actually was the common color of wedding dresses before Queen Victoria. So Queen Victoria got married in 1840, and before her, people did not wear white to their weddings. She wanted to wear white. Nobody thought it was a good idea. She did it anyway. Everyone was like, oh my God, that's so cool. It makes you look so wealthy. And now everyone's done it for the past 180 years. Hey Mike, why do you think brides always carry a bouquet of flowers down the aisle? They're pretty and they're good luck or something? Close. Ancient Greek brides would wear wreaths of mint and marigold that were meant to serve as an aphrodisiac. Brides would also use clusters of herbs to ward off evil. So there you go again with the evil. People back in the day were very afraid of evil spirits and they did not want them at their weddings. The bridal veil. What do you think that's about? You know, like if the husband saw the bride's face before the veil was there, like he would turn to stone on his wedding day or something. It actually comes from the tradition of arranged marriages. In some cultures, the veil was meant to hide the identity of the bride from their groom. In Greece, the veil was typically yellow, and in Rome, it was usually red. They were both meant to represent fire and also fend off those evil spirits. Hey, Lucy, what do you think the origin of the honeymoon is? Interesting. Actually, the honeymoon also has very creepy origins. Some say it dates back to when marriages were created by kidnapping. Oh my god, there's so much stuff about evil spirits and kidnapping in this. So the husband used to have to hide for about a month after the kidnapping to prevent the woman's tribe from rescuing her. So her family, you know, after a month, they basically just like gave up looking. Mike, what about the origin of wedding rings? What do you think? It was probably some kind of like symbol of ownership. It was. It was a symbol of ownership. Historically, the bride's ring was meant to signify ownership. So the development of the bride and groom exchanging rings was a result of the advancement of women's rights. Not only do they own us, but we own them. The significance of the fourth finger is because it was believed to have a particular vein that led to the heart. So in Latin, it was called the vena amoris, which means vein of love. That was incorrect. There is not a vein in that finger that leads to your heart, but it's all about the symbolism, isn't it, folks? What about the father giving away the bride? I mean, apparently she was property, so. Yep. So the father giving away the bride symbolized the transfer of ownership of the bride's property from her father to her new husband. So what is the origin of the first kiss? First kiss? I mean, I think the first kiss was just pretty significant because, like, weren't people not supposed to be hooking up before the wedding back then? No, that's not at all. No. It was once custom for a priest to give a holy kiss of peace to the groom, and then the groom would pass the kiss on to the bride, and then the clergyman would kiss all the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. So, like, everyone just was kissing. 
We were all passing kisses around. Obviously, mono wasn't a thing back then. Do you think we should do that? <laughs> it would certainly shock our family. <laughs> Which, what introductions do you want to keep now that you know how they originated? I want to keep all the ones that protect us from evil spirits. I don't want any evil at my wedding. But really, I feel like I don't want to do most of them now. Why not? I don't know, they all just seem very antiquated. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. Like Queen Victoria, everybody at the time was like, oh my god, but now everyone copies her, so. Start your own trend and wear a jumpsuit or wear a red dress like literally the rest of the world. But what about when they're all my family's traditions? <laughs> your family doesn't have any traditions. Yeah, no, they have a lot of traditions, though. So. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's true. Should we have a best man or a best dog? <laughs> okay, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a best dog, okay? I promise. I promise we'll have a best bitch.